thank you for joining me for another episode of Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 70. We are 70 episodes old. Congratulations to us. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen, like poof, they're made, and you can make it like poof. It'll feel like it. Um, I promise. So thank you so much for coming today. Um, I just want to say hello to everyone and thank you so much for uh, keeping us going, getting us to 70 episodes, and you'll expect tens of 70 episodes to come. So we love doing what we do. Thank you all for joining us on Ustream. And if you want to chat with me live on the spot every Saturday at noon, join us. Go to MadeFitTV.com and you can click on the Chat Live Now button on the uh, middle of the page, about off to the right side. Just click on that. Join us every Saturday at noon. You'll get a sneak peek of our Wednesday podcast and I get to answer your questions live on the spot. How about that? Okay, so let's get started. Today is going to be the really, really good back workout. Back. Talking about back fat, talking about muffin topping out of your bras, ladies, or some guys. Uh, right here. Boom. Right here. Right here a little bit. Now, as I always tell everybody, you cannot just spot train to get rid of fat. You can't just do 50,000 um, you know, squats to get a firmer butt. You're going to tone the muscle underneath, but you need to lose the fat by creating a deficit of calories in your entire body over time calories equaling fat loss okay so I'm gonna show you some moves let's get started we're just gonna use a pair of dumbbells um, and we're gonna use a resistance band if you pan out um, this little bugger right here we're not gonna use her this is weenie of course she's a little pumpkin today cuz it's Halloween um, she's so cute so if she stays there that's alright okay so the first movement I'm gonna show you is going to be rather simple it's going to be at the resistance band this one is about a medium resistance you can find these anywhere um, pretty affordable. So you're going to pick one up and this is going to be like a, a, a lat pull down. This is going to be a resistance band lat pull. The lats are right along here. This would be something that I would do with that bar pulling down. You've seen people do it at the gym before. They're probably doing it incorrectly so I'll show you how to do it right. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to take your resistance band. You're going to choke up on it because you want to create resistance and tension right from the get-go. Okay what you're going to do is you're going to hold it above your head and you're just going to bring it back pulling down and pulling slightly out and back up again. So notice how my arms are not going really wide. You don't want to do that because what's going to happen is you're going to put a lot of pressure on the shoulders. Now this is going to be a high rep movement. I want you to do about like 20 or 30 of these and we're going to do about three or four sets of them. I'm going to turn around just so you can see just like that. How I'm aiming the elbows straight down. You want to squeeze the shoulder blades together almost like you want to touch your elbows together. I'll show you from the side right behind. See how I'm not coming very far behind me because like I said I don't want to overextend the shoulders. This is really good. It's really simple movement but man you really feel it. So give me about 20 or 30 repetitions of these babies and you're going to feel it. Okay so resting about a minute we're going to jump to another movement that's going to work um, the lower back and the upper back as well. We're going to grab our dumbbells for this. Uh, 10 to 15 pound dumbbells I would recommend. If you're a super beginner, don't start with fives. I want you to start with eights. I want you to see how you can do it. Because your back is strong originally. Your back is a big muscle. So you can do more than fives. Try eight, seven or eights. Okay, this is going to be a dumbbell, bent, uh, a dumbbell row to a deadlift. I'm going to start from the side. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. What I want you to do is you're going to keep the palms facing you, uh, facing each other the entire time. So you're going to bend at the hips, bend the legs slightly, but look forward. I want you to focus on a point on the wall and do not take your eyes off it because this is going to keep your chest up. You want to keep those girls up, okay? So you want to bend forward, stand back up through the heels, bend down again, boom, back row. And on the back row, bring the arms straight back and bring them back down. A lot of times people have a tendency of curling their, their wrists in. You don't have to do that. You, are want, you want to work the back directly from the back. So you can do the back row, bring back down and up. See how my head is facing up the whole time? I'm staring at my personal training certification on the wall. <sighs> Check it out. So we're working the lower back and the upper back. This is going to get the heart rate up because you're doing multiple movements working up a sweat, getting the heart rate up, burning calories, and increasing your strength and muscle endurance at the same time. I really love that one, it's great. Okay, it's a good thing. I'm gonna set these down. 
For that movement, you want to do about 12 to 15 repetitions, resting a minute. This next movement I'm going to show you is really awesome. I just love it. You can do it with either a resistance band or dumbbells. So I'm going to have you try it with the resistance band in case the dumbbells you have at home are a little too heavy. So we're going to go on the ground, I'll grab my band. Now there are several ways you can do this movement. You can put the resistance band, let's say um, you're in your basement or you're somewhere near a banister, you can put it around something and hold on to the handles. But since I'm not near anything, I'm gonna hold each end like this. Just doubling it up like that. So what I want you to do is you're gonna lay on your stomach. Let's hope you guys can hear me and my microphone doesn't get all muffled. You're gonna have your arms right in front of you. You're gonna rest your head down. Can you hear me? <laughs> and what I want you to do is you're gonna raise your legs, your feet are gonna be together, you're gonna raise your legs and your torso at the same time and bring it back down. Try that a couple times, see how it feels. Now we're gonna incorporate another lat pull into this movement. Just like that. See, I'm pulling away elbows back on the way up. I'm sorry, you guys. Sometimes technology and exercises don't mix. <laughs> okay, you feeling that? Can you even see me or is Winnie blocking me? <laughs> Good, so you're gonna feel this in your lower back, you may feel it in your butt, and you're gonna feel it in the arms and the back. This one is killer, I'm telling you. Try 12 to 15 repetitions of this one, supersetting it with another movement. Okay, one more movement I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be for the upper back. We're gonna use the dumbbells again. This is gonna be called a bent arm back row. You're going to bend forward, similar to what we did with the deadlift movement, but instead your palms are going to be facing you as opposed to each other. They're going to be facing you. So you're going to bend over, feet together or apart, whichever you're most comfortable with. You want to keep your head up, staring at a focal point, and you're going to raise your arms outward. I'll show you from the front. Just like that. You want to keep it so your arms are parallel to the wall and they're not curling in like this, because you're hitting the traps in the back and the rhomboids. Ooh, I can feel it. I can even feel it in my lower back. Okay, I want you to give me about 15 repetitions of those. Those are pretty killer. Now, I want to have a note about that one. Your range of motion is going to be a little bit, you're going to feel like it's really tight, because you can only go so far on that movement, but trust me, just focus on the form. Focus, focus, focus. Focus on the form, you must, because in that way you are going to be conditioning the muscle properly, you're going to prevent injury, and you're going to see the best results. Everyone loves that. So let me know what you guys think of these movements. Do about three sets of each with the repetitions I told you, Whew. and you'll be good. So be sure to comment on MadeFitTV.com. If you're on YouTube, thank you so much for following us. If you want to take it to the next level, join the Made Fit TV online. Um, uh, updates because then that way you can give us your email address we'll send you the updates right to you when our um, videos are up we're also on iTunes as well just upload us right onto your iPod and um, you can even review on that one as well and hey follow me on Twitter follow me on Facebook I'm Jenny DiDonato on Twitter and facebook.com slash Jenny DiDonato on Facebook hey I did it right I did it right you know how I always forget <laughs> so Exactly. When, yeah. When you go live on Ustream, we do. When we go live on Ustream, we always pop it up on those babies. So just check them out. And that's also the best way to contact me. You can also email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com or on MadeFitTV. Just go to the Ask Jenny button and click on that. And we have a new uh, we have a new thing on the Ask Jenny. We have a little bo a box you can click if you want those email updates. You just check yes or check no, um, or just cl click on the box. And if you click on it, then you'll get the updates. So thanks so much for joining us today. Um, some quick tips on Halloween. Make sure you're not binging so much. Let yourself have a treat. And um, if you don't want your candy, then donate it. Seriously, there are people out there who may need it more than you. So thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on Made Fit TV. Say bye, Ween. <gasps> Say bye. Say bye. Look. Oh. And there she goes. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Every time she's got to be like, huh? Huh? What? 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 What's going on? Oh, 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 oh.